My name is Christine, Cade Me Lafarge, and welcome to Ireland. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody, as today is a traditional St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. It falls on the 17th of March every year, and we're very happy to have a day off, a national holiday, and to celebrate with everybody around the world. Today I'm going to make an Irish stew for you and show you how easy it is to make it. And you will love this Irish stew, as we all love it here. And now, so start off with a large pot here. Well, it's not very large, it's medium actually for this one. And it's a heavy based pot because everything is going to cook slowly for about an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. And here we have a pound of lamb. This is stewing lamb. And we have um, three carrots in this, three medium carrots uh, chopped. And here we have uh, three onions, three medium onions chopped. And here we have um, we have about five or six potatoes there and we have uh, one or two medium potatoes here and we have the um, and celery a little bit of celery there and parsley and thyme and that's what goes into your Irish stew with a little bit of salt and pepper and herbs and now we'll start by layering now the first thing we do we put in a few onions in the bottom of the pot I hope you can see that there just like that in the bottom then we put in a little bit of celery here over that and a little bit of potato in the bottom yeah these ones are for the bottom yeah just like that and there we are and then we have the meat on top of that on top of the vegetables the carrots first a few carrots there now everything is in there a little bit of parsley a little bit of parsley and a little bit of thyme in there as well now we start putting the meat in just half the meat will go in here now that's it it's all nicely chopped and for children I like to dice the meat small because they love it nice and small and you can dice the vegetables as well if you wish now that's it there you are that's it now layer there now the next thing and start again start off with our onions again there we are that's the second layer. That's it now. That's it finished. Now you have the, the potatoes again. You can put a potato or two in that. Yeah. There you are now. That's it. And then you have some carrots again. And that's it. That's that. Now a little bit of celery here. There's your celery. A little bit of parsley like that, a little bit of thyme, like that, and again your meat goes on top of that. There's your, there's your stew made, how easy is that? Everybody can make this stew and you can freeze it, you can have it in the fridge for when you're in a hurry and you want a meal when you come in. And then all you do then is just put the rest of your little bits of celery in there, that's it it all in there now that's lovely now here we just put our potatoes on top of that and the potatoes will steam nicely on top of the on top of the meat and everything else and they'll have a lovely flavor and that's that now now what then you just put a little bit of um, herbs this is herb de provence i always like to use a little bit of herb de provence it just gives everything a nice flavor that's that a little bit pinch of salt all over gives it a nice flavor and then a little bit of pepper and there you are there's your stew made now that's nice a little bit of cracked pepper now the water i'm using about less than half a pint less than half a pint but keep an eye on the water and make sure make sure that it doesn't burn dry this has to cook very, very slowly. Now there's a half a pint in that. And then you just put your lid on and you put it on a very low heat. You put it on medium to start with and bring it up to the, you know, to a little bit of boil. And then you turn it down then to the, a very low heat and you simmer it nice and gently there for one hour and a half approximately. 
and that should be your, your lovely stew. You can add a little bit of pearl barley to your stew and it gives it, it bulks it up and it's very good for you, very good for your head. And this is one that I made earlier, here as you can see. That's one I made earlier and it's ready for the dinner today. Delicious. So I hope everybody enjoys the Irish stew and uh, I'll have more things on my channel, uh, more baking and cooking later on during the year, please. God. And have a very happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody.